Yo, yo, YouTube. This is Chad here coming to you from Honeycomb Fingerboards. Coming at you guys with a little update video. So, I was gone this weekend, guys. Got myself a little bit of R&R. &R, went to the beach. Definitely felt good, but back home now. So, it's time to get back in action. So, I got my plies here for the next deck. Got another deck going over to Hark to get some graffiti done to it. So, this one's going to be thrown in the mold today. And then I'm also going to be throwing down a third coat of clear coat on the deck that's out there. I'm not going to mess with the decks that I've been working on. I'm probably just going to sand them all at one time. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out to the garage now, though, and get started on these things. So, I will see you guys out there. Alright, guys, so <clears throat> back out in the garage here. Gone ahead and taken out our deck from the mold in the last video. Looking pretty good, got the holes tapped in there and the lines drawn up. So that one is going to join the other one and those are just gonna be put off to the side. I'm gonna probably get like four or five of these done before I shape them all up and give them to them. And then we also have our first graffiti deck with the second coat of clear coat down. Looking pretty good so far. Probably gonna wet sand this thing again and then we'll be able to get the third coat laid down. But first, what I'm going to do is just get this thing thrown in the mold. So for this deck, it's also going to be another boring one. Because again, it's going to be given to my buddy to get some graffiti done on it. But this is going to be a maple, maple, maple. A little bit of red and then some African mahogany with our honeycomb print on top. So I'm going to grab some glue, get that laid down, and then we can get this thing thrown in the mold. So here we go, guys. Alright guys, so deck is in the mold here, so it's good to go. Got it all lined up, made sure to get the graphic up on top, so kind of get this thing squeezed in the press here. Look at that glue oozing out of there. So yeah, deck is in the mold, good till tomorrow. So now what I'm going to work on is our graffiti deck here. I'm gonna get this thing wet sanded up and a third coat laid down. So I'm gonna grab my little water here, which we used from last episode. Grab my foamy pad and we're gonna get to work. All right, so kind of talked about this in the last video. What I'm doing here with the water is just a little bit of a lubricant between the, uh, the sandpaper and the actual the clear coat here, just so that it's not so harsh that uh, sandpaper, like the, the grit is kind of filled up with water and it's just not so harsh. You can kind of use less pressure and get it nice and smooth without digging into it real, real hard, which is kind of what I'm worried about with this graffiti top. Definitely don't want to do any damage to that. But we definitely also want to make sure it's nice and smooth so that the um, so the clear coat comes on nice and shiny, buttery smooth. So I say that this thing is ready for its third coat. So I'm gonna get it hung up and we can get some clear coat laid down. All right guys, third coat is laid down. This thing is Definitely looking stupid good. Look at that. Just looking absolutely glassy. Like you can almost see the fucking bulb in the reflection. Looking insane. Top flies definitely starting to soak in that clear coat. Can't see it too well from this thing. Oh, sort of. But top flies definitely looking good now. So I'm going to hang this thing up to dry. One more coat to go and then it'll be done. But yeah, looking damn good so far. Alright, so 
like I said, deck is hanging up. Good to go till tomorrow, and that's pretty much going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I know that this one probably isn't the most exciting as well, but like I said, all these graffiti decks are coming soon. Probably going to do one or two more before I get them sanded up and given to him. So exciting stuff is definitely coming soon, guys. But after that, let me know what you guys want to see next because I really have nothing in plan. So I was thinking about just doing some like split plies or whatever, but let me know what you guys want to see. But yeah, like I said, that's pretty much all I can do for today. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. Make sure you guys like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see down below. And yeah, until next time, later y'all. there's a, a nice barrier between the sandpaper and what you're actually sanding so that way you're not taking off too much.